I have to admit something. I'm pretty stupid and did a really dumb thing. So this is my second attempt filming this POV. So the first time went really well. Filming went well, got really good photographs, everything went smoothly, right? But I forgot to back up the footage. Now, normally what I do, right, is once I've done a POV, I back it up onto the computer and then I keep the footage on the GoPro itself and then when I'm next out shooting a POV, I format the card and start from fresh, right? So I shot this uh, POV in Manchester and then went down to London a few days later. And I noticed the footage was still on the memory card of the GoPro. So I thought, oh, I must have backed it up. Let me format the card. And I'd only realized my mistake until I got back from London, started editing the Manchester POV, did all the photographs, then looked in the GoPro folder, none of the footage was there. So I can't really share with you a lot of the photographs that I captured on that day, which is pretty gutting because I think I've got some really great ones. Some of my favorites are on screen and I will be posting them, of course, over on Instagram. But this is the second attempt filming a POV with the Sony a6400 and the Sigma 18-50 f2.8. All the photography you're going to see in today's video has been edited with my latest preset pack which I'm super thrilled to be sharing. If you want to check that out for yourself, link for that is in the description below. But all that said and done, let's go for our second attempt to filming this POV on the rainy streets of Manchester. Here we go, Sony a6400 18-50 round 2. Let's first open up with a tram shot. Always a winner right there. Good opening. See if we can get some people with umbrellas soon. Good wide shot there, using 18 mil to get it. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Highlights are a little bit overexposed, but I reckon we can bring them out. Oh, got the red umbrella there as well. Sorry, red. yeah, red, that was red. And I saw yellow and red and doubt with myself. That's all right, we'll get better. Just getting warmed up. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that Lambo. Oh, I'm gonna definitely have to try and get a photo of this. Oh, oh, shame the bins are in the background. Yeah, it really does. It is a shame, but this is a cool perspective nevertheless. Let's focus in on a detail shot. So let's focus on the headlight right here. Got the uh, the yellow and the reds. There's a nice contrasting color to it, which looks pretty sick. Ooh. Right, we'll use the yellow line here as a bit of a leading line to it. I think the above shots actually work a lot better, but we'll go with a Curtis Classic here and just focus on a headlight. If in doubt, get the headlight. There's two, bloody hell. Which one would you have, the green or the red? Not mine, unfortunately. <laughs> Never seen a paint job like this, or the spoiler or anything. The number plate as well, it's got like the... Yeah. Fucking angry for me. That's the whole point of... Yeah, uh, that, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> I like the, the elegance of a Ferrari. <laughs> My man. <laughs> yes. Ferrari man, I like that. <laughs> get a bit of a detail shot here. And then we'll get one more like headlight shot. Got the aperture a bit. Let me go to f5.6 or maybe f4.5 actually. Keep it at a centre focus point. Sometimes going higher up to get car shots actually works better because I really can't control the environment that it's in. So I'm just doing the best I can with what I'm given. They're not brilliant shots, but I don't know. What do you guys think from? How about that to a start of a POV? Two Lamborghinis straight off the bat. And we're going to get another good shot here. We're going to use this greenery here as a bit of a foreground. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom it out a bit. Going to bring up the aperture to maybe like F6.3. Keep the ISO at a hundred and then bring up the shutter speed a bit and voila. What do you think of that? Get a moody edit on that. We'll be good to go. I'm going to get a landscape shot of this guy right here. The camera's trying to focus on the poster. So I've touched the screen to focus on the guy composing a shot like this, putting him in the right third of the frame. And that is a pretty cool frame, kind of contrasting to the, um, very snazzy brand of uh, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. I can't pronounce it. Shut up. Nice photo there, the couple. Jesus Christ, my ears are getting blasted out by the bus. Maybe we can go lower down for this next shot of this subject here. Put it a bit here. Drop the shutter speed. Now fire a burst. 
and good very good having people walk past billboards is always like a cool little thing to do or advertisements i should say that might be a cool shot there because we've got all the lights in the background as well and then we'll grab another one here put a center in the frame and nail that shot right there what will be really cool in a second is if i can go lower down and get the reflection and put the building in the frame just like that and that is a great street shot right there love it love the composite here this is a really great composite what's even better is if you can get someone walking through the frame with like a really nice contrasting coloured umbrella like I did last time <laughs> there's a photo example on screen of what I'm on about it's the coolest look up shot in Manchester check out the shot in a sec guys right let's get it framed up pointing up moving the camera over a little bit and look at that shot because of the architecture of the buildings and how the light twisted a bit it really i think just draws your eye in i think that looks so sick so what we've got here is a really nice street shot here all the way down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of hang my camera over the edge yes that might give some people anxiety including me because this ain't my lens and also i don't want to kill someone but we won't do that uh, that will be a bit inconvenient so what we're going to do is we're going to frame this shot up here i'm going to focus right there in the building i've touched the screen to focus and what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a couple of photographs i think that is looking pretty gnarly right there Ooh, ooh, ooh. we can also get a shot here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for people to cross the road but i think that's a really cool kind of a street shot a different kind of angle kind of different vibe Ooh, nailing it look at the pavement here we're getting a really cool reflection so i'm going to start off by getting a photo of these two people here with the umbrellas which is looking pretty good but what will be even better here will be a tram we can get a tram with that reflection who will be in business even getting this person on their own wow that looks so sick look at the mood on that shot that is going to be a really cool edit i tell you right come on here we've got a tram we've got a tram let's have it let's go a bit further out make sure to focus on the tram oh that is looking good that is looking very good look at that reflection we'll wait for another one but i want it on this track here because it'll be closer to me uh, had to grab that photograph right there had to grab that <laughs> sorry but he's wearing a newspaper <laughs> all right we're still waiting for the tram to come from the other direction but whilst we're waiting let's get this shot cheers guys let's grab a photo here of this guy that's a cool shot still waiting for that tram guys yeah. still waiting another couple of umbrellas right there oh this is good i like the way i'm in the doorway as well just not getting wet finally we've got the tram exactly where i want it to be and we are getting some really good frames of it finally i have been there for like 20 minutes waiting for that oh hopefully it was worth it the photos look good but damn i had to be a bit patient there all right we got a reflection here i'm gonna quickly grab it nice i think we absolutely nailed that oh that looks so sick jump in behind sick absolutely nailed it absolutely nailed that shot right so what we're going to do next is we're going to get some photos of people on the tram so i'm going to keep it to a center focus point and then i'm going to keep a fast shutter speed bring up the iso a bit and then try and focus on a subject so there you go face focus working pretty well and then maybe we'll grab this person here at the end and there we go another one so what you do is get some really cool frames like that and we nailed some shots right there the face focus works really well there we go we gave it a go how's that look at 18 mil it's not bad you know it's not bad throw an edit on it it might be all right oh let's fill the frame with this uh, red umbrella right here there we go that's cool now it's stopped raining we can now use this reflection here as well i'm not going to wait for a tram this time for this one i know i said i wasn't going to wait for a tram but i waited for a tram the temptation of what could be was too much and i'm glad i did wait because that was a really good shot <laughs> go low down at 50 mil using this as a leading line 
f2.8 stunning shot awesome leading line i love it getting someone walking right in the middle of this and then what i want to try and do is i want to try and get a tram not on both sides i think that'll be pretty impossible oh let's nail it let's get them both together i think we got it i think we absolutely nailed it there perfect another great shot there umbrellas for the win I'm addicted to taking photos of umbrellas, we all know this. I mean, look at that one, another great one right there. Let's get these two people here, these two lads. With a tram in the background as well. Absolutely perfection. Oh, that one was good. That one was absolutely exquisite. The umbrella was amazing. Oh, this could be a cool backdrop. Bank of China. Oh, that Bank of China shot was absolutely nailed. The focus was spot on. The composite's pretty cool. I like that he's wearing white jeans, which matches the white of the, um, the sign. So we're now in Chinatown. Let's start maybe down here. This could be cool. We can get it. I don't know if we can get it. Oh, we can get it. I'm going to zoom into about, I think I'm about around 50. Oh, that is a bit rad. Oh, that is sick. That is a really sick shot right there. Good way to kick things off. Another one. I'm going to use the Mercedes, which is an interesting thing to say, as a foreground. But it kind of works. It kind of gives us the vibe and the shot I'm going for. Check out the framing on this shot right here. Like, this is going to look really sick. If we can get someone walking through this, oh, this is going to look amazing. We need, like, a singular subject. Right, come on. Oh, that looks pretty sick, dude. Oh, check out that shot. Check out that shot. This could be a cool landscape shot right here. Just people looking at the uh, thing right there. The inventory, I guess. That looks pretty cool. And I like this shot here. This could be a shot. I like this yellow bike. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the aperture to maybe about F10. So we're shooting at 640, 1160 for a second, F10. Oh, look at that, you know. Okay, some really cool shots there. I was trying to get an umbrella in the frame. I think I'm at a nail one. Oh, that's a cool shot. I like that. F2.8. Oh, that is a very good low angle look it up. Oh, I nailed that as well. Oh, look at the GT4. That's pretty nice. That's cool. And what we'll do, another one. Just fill the frame with it here. There's not really much we could do with it, but we've got a couple of shots nevertheless. Going for it. Ugh. Looks pretty good right there. Oh, we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, we've got another tram here. Absolutely nailed it. If you're watching this part of the video, it means you've stuck around until the end and I haven't accidentally deleted the footage like an absolute imbecile, so I think I get myself a little round of applause. Something else that should be applauded is definitely not this segue, but the Sigma 18-50 f2.8. I am mighty impressed by this little lens. I've been shooting with it quite a bit and the results you can get from it is incredible. It's versatile, it's sharp, it's great at all focal lengths, it's just a really nice small lens that is super convenient to carry around with you on a daily basis for travel. I will be doing a full review on this lens, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you are subscribed, turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release that video or any other video onto the channel. Now, the last thing we're going to do in today's video is have a look for the hashtag CP photos and see what you guys have been creating. Kicking things off today is FaZe with this really cool shot in Chinatown of this gentleman. I like the low angle to this shot looking up, really makes him look a lot bigger in the frame. This shot here by Frost, this is really cool. I love the matching colours with the underground sign, the Union Jacks, the bus going through. It's a really nice long exposure shot as well. Absolutely stunning shot overall. This is really cool as well. This one by Goncalo. I absolutely love the framing on this. The composition, 
absolutely spot on and the tall buildings really give a nice amount of scale to the image as well our next frames today come from our motor really cool portrait shots with this like this has got to be a filmic lens because look at the blooming highlights as well in the background like the subject is really well posed in all these shots it absolutely nailed the framing and all of them the lighting is really cool must have been a film camera right the shadow work on this photo right here by james w photos is stunning look at that black and white image perfectly framed in that pocket of light and the final photograph we're gonna have a look at today i reckon is gonna be this one a really nice simple street shot by steven i love this kind of aesthetic i love the vibe i love the quietness it's a really nice overall frame and i love the colors on it as well a massive shout out to everyone continuing to use the hashtag if you're not using it get involved over on instagram and your work might be featured here on the channel but that is where i am going to be leaving today's pov so until next time create explore and inspire and i'll see you in the next one laters